morning everyone, happy Friday. I hope you're all feeling really good this morning. The sun is shining, it is the most beautiful morning. Now I am just gonna turn these comments off. So that is done, so you can see what I'm doing. Good morning, how's everyone feeling? Although obviously you can't now comment and tell me, but I hope you're all feeling really well this morning. Um, I am taking you through today a slightly mysterious workout. So um, focused on last week, we did sort of like a combination of some strength and some more conditioning style stuff. So what I wanted to do today was consolidate all of the really good work that we've done within our sessions this week with a couple of strength exercises that I'm trying to keep really consistent throughout the training so that we can have some progressive overload with what we're doing. And then com accompanied with that, or accompanying that, I think that's the word, <laughs> we are also then going to have um, some more hip style training stuff, high intensity stuff, which you know I don't like to do too, bit, too much of, but I think definitely on a Friday morning, it's going to be really good to get ourselves nice and sweaty and set ourselves up for the weekend ahead. So I'm just going to wait for a few more of you to join. How is everyone doing? Welcome, welcome. So obviously, as always, we're going to start with a full warm up, so get ourselves nice and mobile and ready for the session ahead, making sure we open up all those key areas, shoulders, hips. Um, and a tea spine, and then we are going to get started. So I think there's plenty of you here. I can feel with the sun coming in, so I'm gonna get really sweaty. So if everyone's ready, we're gonna open that door. We're gonna come down onto our mat, starting with our warm up. So let's get ourselves feeling really good today. It is Friday and your workout is now commencing. So hands are underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. From here, we're gonna start by tucking the pelvis, so initiating the movement from the pelvis, Rounding up through each vertebra, pushing the floor away, tucking the chin towards the chest, and then we're going to reverse that movement, so just taking that chin up towards the ceiling, arching through the back. So really nice and slowly here, it shouldn't be rushed, so really imagine that you're going vertebra by vertebra all the way through your spine, pressing the floor away, chin comes to chest, really opening up through the shoulder blades, and then arching through the back, taking that chin up towards the ceiling. Really nice work, guys. Good. Let's go for one more here. So last time, pressing that floor away, really rounding up through that back, getting into every part of your back, and then taking that chin up towards the ceiling. Good. Going for that arch. Good. Now we're going to bring the right hand in between both shoulders. So right hand sits in between the left and right shoulder, and then from here, left hand's coming to the side of the head. And then we're opening that elbow up towards the ceiling. So getting some nice rotation through our thoracic spine, that top part of our back. Then reaching that elbow down towards the opposite wrist. So left elbow reaches open and then drops down. Good. Let's go for two more here. Reaching that elbow open, dropping it down. Last time on this side. Good. Changing side. So left hand now comes in between both shoulders. Take that right hand to the side of the head. And this time we're reaching open towards the ceiling there, dropping that elbow down. Reaching open and down. Good. Let's go for two more here. Really trying to get as much movement and isolation through that upper back. So it's just that rotation in the upper back that we're aiming for. Good. Bring both hands back down. We're going to take the left foot out to the side. So the left foot sticks out. The sole of the foot is facing forward. So same direction as your hands. And then from here, tucking those back toes. So make sure the back toes are tucked under. We're then going to push ourselves back into that hip. So what we're getting here is a really nice opening through the left adductor. Just feeling a nice opening through the hips. And then we rock ourselves forward. Now you can take your hands slightly further forward. But as I rock myself back, as you can see, I'm trying to keep a really nice long neutral spine. So I'm not rounding through the back here. So again, really trying to keep nice and long through the spine. Good. Let's go for one more here. So just rocking ourselves back into that hip. Good. And rocking ourselves forward. So let's change sides. Bring that left knee in. Take the right foot out this time. Exactly the same position. Tuck those left toes and then just sitting yourself back into that hip and coming forwards. Nice. Good. And again. So just rocking yourself back. That's two. Last one here. That's three. Good. Really nice. Bring that knee in. Tuck those toes under and let's come into our plank. So holding here for five, squeezing everything together for three, for two, and one. Good. Lifting that left leg, bringing it to the outside of our left hand. So we're in this nice long lunge position here. And from here we're then going to lift that left uh, hand up towards the ceiling. So we're reaching that left hand up towards the ceiling. And then from there tucking that elbow down and reaching for that space between the hand and the foot on the floor. So getting some really nice rotation there. Send that left leg back. Right leg comes forwards again. Same on the other side. So reaching that right arm up. And then reaching that right elbow down towards the space in between the hand and the foot on the floor. Nice, let's move through a few of these. Good, 
reach the left arm up, reaching that elbow down, keep that back knee off the floor, if you can, right leg comes forward, reaching open, reaching down, good. Nice, from here, bringing that left leg forwards, we're now just going to rock ourselves back into that nice little hamstring stretch. So we hang out here for a second, rock ourselves forwards and send that leg back. So this time we're trying to create a V with our legs, so we rock ourselves back, feel that nice little pull of the hamstring, just starting to wake up those hamstrings, good, rocking back and forwards. Last time on this right side, rocking back and forwards, good, send that leg back, coming back to our plank position, walk the hands towards the feet. And coming up to standing. Last little bit of our warm up now. We're kind of going to, we're going to come into our squat position. So take those feet slightly wide than hip width, toes slightly turned out. Keeping the chest really nice and tall. Heels stay on the ground. We're going to lower down into our squat. And the elbows are going to come inside of the knees. So the elbows are driving those knees out. Keep the chest really nice and tall, but dropping those hips down. From here, we're then going to pipe the hips up, folding ourselves over. And then from here, bringing those hips back down, bring the chest nice and tall. We're coming back down into that squat, really nice. Again, we pipe the hips up, folding ourselves over. And then bringing those hips down, chest drives up, really trying to open up the bottom part of that squat. So really use those elbows just to drive those knees out. Last time, piping the hips up, coming back down to the bottom, and then take those elbows out, and we come up to standing. Good, shake everything out. Right. Who's feeling warm? Who's feeling ready to go? Good, okay, so four exercises I'm gonna take you through now, and that's gonna make up the strength part of our workout today. So the four exercises that we have been doing in various workouts across the week that I really want to consolidate and work on so that we can get some, um, get some good progression with our training. So the first exercise, for those of you that have been doing my upper body sessions, we've been working on some push-up lowers. So this exercise is basically lowering down to the, to the bottom of the push-up and really working that eccentric portion, so that lowering phase of the push-up. So from your push-up position, taking those legs back, we just lower ourselves down to a count of three, two, one. Chest comes completely to the floor, and then we push our hips back, and we come up and over again to the top of that push-up position. So really working on that lowering phase, controlling it, counting three seconds down, and then pushing the hips back, coming back up. Exercise two, we're just gonna go for a really simple, basic, body weight squat. Now the reason why I've put these in is because I just think that there's something that needs to be worked on. Sometimes they don't come as naturally to people, so it's really important that you just try and hone your body weight squat so that if you finish this period and you do go to the gym and you add some load to it, you know exactly what you're doing. So again, we just did it in our warm up, we're taking those feet slightly wider than hip width, toes turned out, and every position is going to vary, so there's not one specific correct squat position. We all have different anatomy, lever lengths, all those kind of things. So find a position that feels most comfortable for you. And then from here, keep the chest nice and tall, weight in the heels, we're gonna lower down to the bottom of that squat position, and we're gonna hold here for three seconds. So we're pausing for three, two, one, and then we're driving up. So that's our second exercise. For our third one, we're coming down, and we're just going for a really simple plank hold. Elbows under shoulders, take the legs back, squeeze and hold, you know what you're doing there. And for our fourth exercise, we're going for our reverse lunges. So taking that lunge back, Tucking that knee and then coming up to standing. So really keeping that body slightly forwards over that front leg so we can make it a bit more hip dominant rather than um, arching over the back leg. Good, so we're going for those four exercises. So you're starting with your push-up lowers. If everyone comes to your mat, getting ready in your push-up position, we are gonna work for 40 seconds of each exercise and we are going in three, in two, and one. Off we go. So starting with those push-up lowers, Squeezing everything together, we lower down to three, two, one. Lowering down, send those hips back, and then we come up and over. So with these, we're just really trying to slow everything down, control it, push the hips back, and coming up and over. Nice work. 40 seconds here. Good. So really making sure that you're not letting that pelvis drop before the rest of your body. Good work guys, good, pushing back, coming up and over, finishing in three, two, and one, coming up to standing, really nice work, so moving into our squats next, I have no idea why my timer is not working, that's really annoying, but anyway, good, we're going into our squats in three, in two, 
and one. So we lower down into that squat, holding for three, two, one, driving up. And again, good. Squeezing the glutes under at the top, lowering down, holding for three, two, one. So we're going for that pause at the bottom, counting for that three seconds, and then driving the hips up and through. Nice work, guys. Keep the chest nice and tall. Good. Moving into that final 15. Good, nice work. Final 10. And moving into that final five, holding. And three, two, one. Coming up and out, really nice. Plank hold, so coming down onto your mat. Elbow sits under shoulder, squeezing the inner thighs together. We are going in 10 seconds, so take that rest. And we're going in five. And three, two, one. Take those legs back, squeeze the inner thighs together tuck the chin and we are holding here for 40 seconds now if you can't quite manage that 40 seconds that is absolutely fine just come down whenever you're ready whenever you feel like it and then just join us back in for the next exercise good squeeze your thighs together keep that tension halfway through 20 seconds down holding here so we're really just working on an isometric hold here so just keeping everything really nice and still and controlled Good, moving into that final five seconds now. And three, two, and one, lowering down. Good, moving into that last exercise, reverse lunges. So we come to the top of our mat, 10 seconds left of this rest, and then just taking each leg back, keeping that body slightly forward over that front leg. We're going in three, in two, and one, off we go. So just tapping that knee. Good. Slow and controlled, so not rushing these. And again, like I said, keeping that weight slightly forwards over that front leg. Good. Nice work, guys. Moving into that final 20 seconds here. And then we are one round down. Good work. So just working and keeping that body slightly forwards. Nice. Good. Moving into that final five. Stay with it. And three, two, and one. Take a rest. So going down, getting ready for push-up lowers. I'm just going to start my timer again because it's having a wee moment. So take that 15 seconds. We're getting ready for those push-up lowers. So get into your push-up position. And we are going in three, in two, and one. Really hope that works now. Good. So push-up lowers, lowering ourselves down. Three, two, and one. So really counting for yourself that three-second lower. And then you push yourself back, and then coming up and over. So hips go back, comes back into that plank position. So you squeeze everything really tightly. This is a moving plank. So your body should be in completely straight line the whole time. Nice, good work. Elbows coming back at that 45 degree angle, moving into that final five seconds. Three, two, one. There we go, now it's working. Good, coming up to standing, we have our pause squats. So taking those feet into your comfortable squat position, getting ready to go in another five seconds, keeping that chest nice and tall, weight in the heels. We're going in three, two, and one. Off we go. So pausing for that three, two, one. At the bottom, squeezing up and under. Good, keep the chest tall. Three, two, one. Nice work. Good. Counting for yourself that three second pause at the bottom. Keep your knees driving out. Three, two, one. Holding that pause at the bottom. Moving into that final 10 seconds here. Good, nice work. Good, squeezing the glutes under at the top. Three, two, one. Nice work, guys. Take that 15 second rest. I'm just going to turn my music up a bit. A bit more vibe this Friday. Good, we're coming down into our plank hold. So 40 second plank hold. Elbows down onto the mat, taking those legs back, squeezing the thighs together in three, two, and one. Off we go. So we are just holding here, keeping everything really nice and tight. Glutes on, slightly tucking that pelvis under. Inner thighs squeezing together, chin tuck. Elbows on the ground, and then shoulder blades drawing down the top of your waistband. Good. You can dance around a little bit if you want. Good. Final 15 
15 seconds here. Keep everything really nice and tight. Nice work, guys. Three, two, one. Good. Lower those knees down. Coming up to standing. Reverse lunges. Last exercise of this round. So come into that top part of your mat, getting ready to take those legs back to your reverse lunges. And we are going in five, and three, two, and one. Off we go, taking those legs back. So just coming into a really simple reverse lunge, we're making this a bit more hip dominant. So we're keeping that body slightly forwards over that front leg. So just getting a little bit of more glute, working there. Good, nice. Just one more round left of these exercises. And then we're gonna move on to our sweat. Good. Nice, moving into that final 10 seconds here, guys. Good work. Three, two, one. Good, so that is your second round down. We have one round to go. And then we move into our final little sweaty section of this workout. So coming down for your push-up lowers, getting ready to go in five, and three, two, one. Squeeze the inner thighs together, lowering down. Three second lowering. Push those hips back, and coming up and over. Good. So really slow down that lowering phase. Pushing up and over. Elbows coming back at that 45 degree angle. Good job. Nice, 20 seconds left here guys. Last time we're doing all of these exercises, so stay with it. And then you are so ready to dive into your hip training for today. Good. Nice job. Three, two, one. Good, coming up we have our pause squats. So again, really feeling our glutes start to work in this. Our lower body is all gonna be firing as we hold at the bottom of our squat and we are going in five, last time here, in three, two, one. So again, we count that three second pause. Three, two, one. Driving up, squeeze the glutes under, and again. Three, two, one. Nice work. Good. Who's feeling good this morning? Sean Paul, on the music. Bit of a throwback. Loving it. Good. 15 seconds to go. Stay with it. Counting that three seconds. At the bottom. Three, two, one. Good. Still going. Five seconds to go. Finishing in three, two, one. Shake those legs out. Good. Coming down to the floor for our plank hold. Last time here. So getting ready. Taking those elbows down to the ground. Squeezing the inner thighs together. And really working on creating that tension in this exercise. In three, in two, and one, good. So this is really about full body tension here. So really working on gripping everything for this exercise. Keep the chin tucked. Keep the shoulder blades drawing down to the top of the waistband of your leggings. And squeeze as if you had a piece of paper between your legs and you don't want to let it go. Good job. Nice, stay with it. Moving into that final five. Three, two, one. Lower your knees down. Last exercise, coming up to standing. We come to the top of our mat, ready for our reverse lunges. Last exercise of our little strength session. And then we're moving into some more high intensity moves. Going in three, two, one. Let's go. The good thing about doing one of these as well is we're now really nice and warm. And ready to actually start jumping around. You know, that kind of stuff you don't want to go into cold. So we try to activate in this first little section, get everything really nice and working, and then we're going to move into our hit in a much more prepared manner. Good. 15 seconds, and then you are done with your strength. Good. Keeping that body slightly forwards over that front leg. One. Nice job, guys. Good. Shake out those legs. Get a glass of water if you need one. And just keep your eyes on me for the next four exercises 
which are going to be part of our hit circuit. So, for these exercises, we're going to work for 20 seconds, then we get a little 10 second rest in between each, and they're much more dynamic, so keep, keep yourself focused on what we're doing. So, first exercise, we've done this before, it's our ski jump. So we're coming from one side, loading up that hip, and then driving off, reaching to the other side. So we're really working on that lateral bound, making sure we load up that hip, and then drive ourselves off to the other side. Second exercise, we're coming down to our mat. Now we're in a plank position, but what's gonna happen is, I'm gonna lift opposite arm and leg off. So I'm shooting that leg through, coming into that needle through, and then coming up and over through my tabletop position, lifting opposite arm and leg off. So if my right leg's lifting off, and it's shooting through to my left, I lift my left arm off. So just working on those needles, I call the needle throughs, I don't know if they've got a better name, but basically lifting opposite arm and leg off and rotating through. If that's too difficult, just go for really simple mountain climbers. Next exercise, we're gonna go for a squat jump. So taking those feet into the position you've just done with your squats, but then from here we're just adding in that jump. So using the arms to drive us up and making it more plyometric. And then last exercise, we're on our butt and we're going for some V sits. So we're moving from our dish hold and then scooping up to our V sit and back to our dish hold. Scooping up to our feet fit. Well, I can't talk today. So those are your four exercises. Keep your eyes on me. I'll be doing it all with you. And like I said, we have 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds rest, and we're doing that four times round. So getting ready to go. We're starting with our lateral bounds. And we're going in three, in two, and one. Off we go. So just 20 seconds on each exercise. So you can really give it 110%. Good. So we're just loading up that leg, driving to either side. Good, three, two, one. Take that 10 seconds. Coming down for your needle throughs. So coming into that tabletop position. And we're going in three, in two, and one. Lift those knees up, shoot that leg through. Coming up and over, shoot that leg through. Good. So really working on creating a nice wiggle of this. So we're just moving through. Good. Moving into that final five. Three, two, one. Coming up to standing. Squat jumps. Taking that 10 second rest. So really try and give this everything. Going in three, in two, and one. Off we go. 20 seconds here. Nice work, guys. Good. Woo. Three, two, one. Coming down, ready for our V-sits. Coming onto our butt. So like I said, we go back into that dish hole and scoot back in. We're going in three, in two, and one. Let's go. Squeezing in, back to that dish hole. Up we come. Good. Really working on keeping that core. Control. Good. Finishing in three, two, one. Good. Jumping up. Straight back into that first exercise. Lateral bound. We're going in five, three, two, and one. Round two of four. Let's do this. Oh, I love this song. Good. Reaching across. Ten seconds down, ten to go. Come on. Woo! Three, two, one. Coming down. Needle three, so sending that leg through. You come into our tabletop position. Getting ready to go in five. Three, two, and one. We lift those knees off, shooting that leg through. Rotating round. And then repeating the other side. Nice. Good job, guys. Three, two, one. Coming up to standing. Squat jumps. Woo. Five seconds to go. And three, two, one. Off we go. Driving those arms back behind you. Using them. Nice work, guys. Three, two, and one. Down to the floor. V-sit. Halfway through on this exercise. 
We're going in four, three, two, one. Let's do this. Scooping up and in, and back to that dish hold. Good job, everyone. Nice, give me a final five here. Three, two, woo, one. Good, halfway through. Coming up, lateral bound. Round three and four, when we're going in five, three, two, and one. Let's go. So loading up that leg, driving side to side. Good work, guys. One, coming down, knee up through, so find that tabletop position. Just enjoy that little 10 second rest. We're going in five, three, two, and one. Lifting those knees up, shooting that leg through. Good, you're so almost there. Nice work, guys. Really find the momentum with this one. Just shooting that leg through, reaching that opposite arm up. Good, three. Two, one, nice job. Coming up to stand and squat jumps. And also the time we're doing all of these five seconds left of this rest. Three, two, one, let's go. Nice job, guys. Good, stay with it. Almost there. Three. Two, one, good, coming down, be sit. Oh, sorry, I just changed my playlist. So hang around if you want a bit of a stretch. Oh, so coming down to our mats. Let's just stretch this out. Let's get our breath back. Let's just cool down a little bit. So widen those knees. 
sit the hips back onto the heels, walk those hands out, and just drop that chest down to the floor in your child's pose. So really just relaxing everything now, getting your breath back, big inhales through the nose, out through the mouth. Take a second here. Good. So what we're gonna do is walk the hands both over to the left side and then pull our body just away from that. So we're getting a really nice stretch down that right side here. And then the same on the other side. So now walking the hands to the right, pulling the body away, getting a really nice stretch down that left side. Good. Bringing those hands back to the middle, coming up into your tabletop position. We're going to feed our right arm underneath our left. So dropping that shoulder down towards the mat and then walking those left fingertips forwards. So we're getting a really nice two-way stretch here. Just breathing into it. Good, walk those fingertips back. Other side, so drawing that left arm under the right, dropping that left shoulder down, walking the right fingertips forwards. And getting a really nice, again, two-way stretch here. Good, coming back up to neutral. From here, tucking the toes under, let's go back into a downward dog. So sending those hips high, and then just paddling through the feet. Good. From here, bringing that left leg forwards, we're gonna come into a nice lunge, but this time I'm gonna drop the um, back knee. And then from here, what you're gonna do is just bring your elbows down onto the mat if you can. So a really nice hip opener here. Just coming into our lizard stretch. Just taking a second here. And then going back onto your hands, squaring off the hips now, so you might want to bring that foot in a little bit. And from here, we're just going to scoot the arms forwards and up, and just get a really nice opening through that front hip flex. And tucking the pelvis under slightly, not front hip flex, or our right hip flex, sorry. And again, scooping those arms up one more time. Tucking that pelvis under, getting a really nice open through that right hip flexor. Hands come down, send that uh, left leg back, bring that right leg forward, exactly the same. So dropping that back knee into your long lunge, you can drop that right knee out a little bit, and then bring your elbows down to the mat. Opening up through that hip. Good. Coming back onto your hands, squaring off those hips again, so bringing that right foot in, scooping the arms up, scooping the pelvis under, bringing those arms up, and again, scooping forwards, bringing those arms up into a really nice stretch. Good, from here, tucking those toes under, send that leg back, we're going to walk the hands towards the feet, coming to a forward fold, so grabbing both elbows and just allowing the weight of the hands to pull you down, relax the head, relax the neck. And then just dropping both hands, just take a moment here before just rolling up really nice and slowly through the spine, vertical by vertebra. Head is the last thing to come up. Shaking everything out, getting ready for any last bits of tension. And you are now done for the day. So thank you so, so much for joining. It was my absolute pleasure to teach you this morning. As always, I'll be back tomorrow morning and release my weekend schedule today. So look out for that and I'll hopefully see some of you then. So have a wonderful rest of your Friday and I will see you all soon. Bye.